Hey guys, Fabian here. How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a new series where I kind of show you my watercolors as we go through the years. You know, I plan on making more videos in the future and posting them here. So let's break this video into two parts, basically the artistic aspect of it. And then I'll like to talk qu quickly about the scene you're seeing here and, you know, what, um, why I was painting this. So this is my second watercolor painting ever. I, I never touched watercolors. I just didn't think it was the medium for me. But I was inspired like a year and a half ago, almost two years, by an artist named James Gurney. Um, I saw him on YouTube. The YouTube algorithm just recommended one of his videos from um, him painting uh, like a house, like a cityscape. And I had never seen watercolors being used like that. Um, I think what I liked about it is that he was using watercolors with gouache. I wasn't familiar with that at the time, but it basically is a different medium, also water-based that makes the watercolors like opaque. So you can have different opacity and you can do different textures with watercolors. And so about like two years ago, I asked, uh, for Christmas, I asked for like a water set kind of to start it. Um, but I, I didn't really, I didn't really try it till, uh, last fall. So fall of, uh, 2022, I finally put together my first painting. Um, what you're seeing here is the second painting. Um, but I had a lot of issues with my first one filming it. A lot of lessons learned that, um, that, that I, I'll have to get better at, but basically there's no footage of the first watercolor painting, but here's a picture of what I did. It was in my backyard and I figured I start easy in my backyard. Um, it's also my first time doing outdoor painting, which is, uh, I guess the French term for it is, uh, en plein air and plein and plein air, um, means out, outdoor painting outdoors. And, uh, the artist uh, James Gurney on on YouTube, he he kind of is a do it yourselfer. So he built his own easel to paint outside um, and very portable. So after I asked for the watercolors a couple years ago, I started thinking, how can I make my own easel? And because I have kids, uh, it wasn't easy finding the time to do it. So it, it it took me a while to actually get everything gathered and set up and researched. Um, you know, all, all this, this whole setup that you're seeing right now, I'll probably make a, a video in the future of how uh, my whole setup actually looks. I did have a little bit of that in the first watercolor painting I did, but like I said, there's no actually good footage from that to be used. So I'll, I'll make another video and yeah, let's go talk to, uh, let's talk a little bit about James Gurney when inspired this. So basically he's a he's a watercolor artist and he was known for doing a book series of uh, called dinotopia it's and the humans living with dinosaurs and he's a he's a really good artist he's got a bunch of classes online um youtube tutorials and everything and i like the fact that um he was painting cityscapes i, I never thought about like painting houses or buildings i <laughs> kind of ridiculous to um say that but i always thought like oh you know you gotta paint landscapes or um or stills with like the fruit and stuff like that that's what i was taught as a kid with a very like one or two classes i did as as a kid uh that i took like art classes but i never thought about like painting like in the city or, or outside like plan uh, uh plein air um like a traveling artist basically so I, I, what I saw uh, and I, I liked it and, uh, I figured I could make my own easel and stuff like that and didn't get to, uh, yeah, it took a while to actually get the whole setup together. I still have some things that I got to tweak. Um, the easel needs a little bit more work, but, um, uh, I, I, I'm liking what I've done so far. I like the, the way the watercolors are a little bit forgiving and, um, I like that James uh, Gurney style like it's not doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be like straight lines um he's mostly about like highlights uh shadows lights and and how to manipulate that into making it look like a perfect scene at the end so 
I really like a lot of his videos. Um, they're short and and, and he kind of progr- uh, shows the whole progression of the painting. So I, I that's what I kind of want from this series. I'll get better at taking video of what I'm doing. And also hopefully a better <laughs> tripod for the camera. I, I, I'm using my phone right now with on a mono, monopod. So that's why it's a little bit shaky and it was a little bit windy. So I'll get better at filming myself doing these, but, um, yeah, let's, um, I guess let's jump into what I'm painting here. Um, if you can see in the background, this is my, I I don't, I can't tell who that is moving back and forth. Uh, obviously this this is time-lapse. I think that's gotta be my, my youngest son in the little blue car. So basically this is my sister's brand new home completed in December of 2022 uh, in a suburb about 30 minutes out of um, Raleigh, North Carolina. So this was our first road trip to to North Carolina and we were visiting her uh, during Christmas break. My wife and my two kids drove down there and um, I knew that being with my sister and my mom, my mom lives with my sister's family. So, um, and my sister, my brother-in-law, nephew and niece, they all live in this, moved into this house at the end of December. And we got there a couple days after they moved in. So I knew that being with them, I was going to have a, a chance to have a couple hours to paint these. These, the, these paintings, I think for me, they'll take about like two to three hours based on what I had seen, um, James Gurney do on YouTube. Basically he, he usually says like his paintings last like a couple hours so um that i asked my family if uh they could watch the kids for a couple hours while i painted uh initially i drove around the city trying to keep an eye on what i wanted to paint um but i knew i was only gonna have like one chance so i wanted to paint her house because it just looks so nice and you know um it would it was a nice neighborhood and also i'm standing right in front of her house where they're building the community so uh, it was a perfect spot to sit outside um and i was c- covered from the sun by the house frame that they had next door and also like the house has a lot of angles and the light and the dark aspects of it so i wanted i wanted to do that uh first since this was only my second uh watercolor you know, I'm not trying, I wasn't trying to do anything crazy. Yeah, I'm just looking how, how I'm painting here. Sometimes, like, I, I gotta see how I turn my arm. I, I guess, like, that's the only way I can make l- horizontal lines. I think I gotta work on that. But, yeah, I, I, um, I spent about two two three hours on this two and a half to three hours on on this painting and the kids were getting impatient i think at some point uh they would my, my niece um luna would uh ask me if i was already done and you know why was it taking so long i think at one point she even sat on the stage <laughs> look there they are in the background um i think she even asked at one point if um if i had put her into painting and you know uh, she couldn't stay still for more than like a minute none of the kids could so uh, I told her jokingly after that you know if she needed to be in the painting she would have to stay still for like two hours yeah this this was great um I enjoyed this st- and I enjoyed the, like the kids yelling in the background I could hear them playing and at one point I think my wife and one of my kids comes up here I don't know if we got that on film or not yeah, I think they, all the neighbors walking by, I, I saw a couple of them looking at me, but I suspect if I do more plan air in the future, I'll have more people come up to me and ask stuff, but nothing happened here. They were just um, walking by and they would just look over. It was a really nice neighborhood too. I, I really like all the houses. There were other houses with similar aspects, like architectural aspects that would have looked nice too on painting. 
So maybe if I go back there, I'll, I'll try something else. The weather was great while we were down there. Um, I'm from New England, so um, we went down during end of uh, the new year. So um, we were expecting cold weather, but North Carolina right there had uh, in this particular place really nice weather throughout the 10 days we were there or so. Like high 60s, low 70s, it was gorgeous. But as the sun set, I do remember starting to get a little bit colder. And I think I was starting to shake a little bit, so I kind of spit up and I told myself, like, I had to complete this thing soon. I'm right there, I'm painting my mom's car. She was happy. At the end, she told me she was happy that her car made it into the painting. I mean, I, I could see it from where I was standing, so I figured I'll throw it in there. I do have to add more um, magnets to this case of watercolors because I think at one point I it almost slipped off the easel. Um, I do have to, like I said, I do have to make some modifications to to the setup. But for being my second time using it, it was it was pretty good. And, you know, I'm mostly doing this for myself and my family so we can look back and over the years hopefully see what how I started painting watercolors and how I progressed through the years. I look forward to having more videos and, you know, and discussing what, what inspires the future paintings, I guess. Alright, the video should be wrapping up soon, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.